Hey you guys, so I am back with a new video and with this video, I know it's long overdue girl, it's going to be this shower video showing you how to um, have a wash day that encourages lip retention. So one thing I want to say before we get started, I showed you guys what products I'm going to be using. Some things may change and if it does change, everything will be listed below in the description box. I'm going to stress this and I think I've said this so many times. I still firmly believe that when it comes to growing your hair and having healthy natural hair, that it's all about your regimen, okay? So there's not one product. Yeah, there's rice water may help you with a little bit of length. Um, but all this comes down to what it really boils down to is your regimen. How are you taking care of your hair? How are you moisturizing your hair? If you are detangling properly, if you are clipping those ends, and I know that us, especially as black women, we tend to shy away from the shears, but it's really is important to get rid of those dead ends so that your hair isn't splitting and, um, really sabotaging your or your hair growth. So let's hush up and start to section off my hair. This is an old wash and go. It is about a week old. Okay. I'm gonna apply the moisture. Now, another thing about products, you guys, I, re I have reviewed a lot of products. Just go through and do a search on my channel. Um, I like to use very affordable products because again, it's not necessarily the products, but how you are using the products, okay? So this hair, I'm gonna show y'all, it is so, my hair is very dense. So you can see here, I'm having to really separate this. Okay. That shrinkage is, <laughs> the shrinkage is something real. You see how much my hair shrinked up back there? I'm just gonna show you an example. I'm gonna put some more moisture on here. And again, this is aloe vera juice. I'm gonna see if I can bring one of these hair strands down. This is really. And it's, it's not it. Look at that. Look at that. It gets that spider web type of. Woo yeah. So let's get started. I'm gonna really, really, really go in here. So I go in and finger detangle first, and then I use a comb. Okay, um, getting those ends. So I have several combs here. I probably need another. See, that's not bad at all. But um, I'm also going to put my hair in twists while we're doing this too. All right, you guys, I'm going to continue to detangle my hair. Now, typically, I will say at least once a month, I take my time and really sit down. Girl, pour myself a glass of wine, and it takes me around two to three hours to really, really get in and detangle my hair. But for the purposes of making this video, I just wanted to do it really quickly. So it took me about 30 minutes to detangle my entire head of hair. Okay, so finishing up this last section and now I'm jumping into the shower. I am really taking the time, since I am low porosity, ensuring that my hair is properly saturated with water before applying any shampoo. This can take a couple of minutes. I remember when I used to go to the stylist 
it would take her five to eight minutes just sitting there with my hair under the water before applying any cleansing products. Go in with the VO5 Strawberry, I believe that's the Strawberry and Cream Shampoo. Um, working that into my scalp, massaging it in, and letting the product run all the way down my hair strands. So now I'm going to go in with the Tresemme Flawless Curls Shampoo. I really do like this shampoo and I love the lather that it gives my hair. Now typically y'all, yes, I do cleanse my hair twice when I'm um, for wash day. And yes, because I'm extra, I typically do use two different types of shampoos. My favorite lately has been Tresemme's Flawless Curls. I typically do follow up with the TGIN Moisture um, Shampoo also. So now that the shampoo is nearly out, I'm going to go in with a conditioner. Now lately y'all, I have been skipping this step, but I'm doing the strawberries and cream VO5. This is just a cheap conditioner just to get my hair ready for this. Look, this is me getting my hair ready for the deep conditioner. Um, I have stopped putting a rinse out conditioner on my hair when I'm deep conditioning because it's just redundant. It doesn't really make any sense and it saves myself time, saves me money and saves um, yeah, money on a product. So just for the purpose of this video video, again, I wanted to use a rinse out shampoo before applying my deep conditioner. So that right there is the Queen Helen cholesterol. I tend to be very heavy handed when it comes to deep conditioners. And I did mix this with two packages of that ORS. I also sometimes put, um, hair oil, just whatever I have on hand. Um, just again, applying the product in sections, making sure I am working the product from root to end. Now I am deep conditioning now every time I wash my hair, just because I want to give my hair some extra TLC and make sure that it's properly, properly moisturized. As I stated earlier in the video, I do, girl, I have an attitude, excuse me. <laughs> I do like to do a protein treatment every three months or so. So again, using a wide tooth comb to go in and detangle my hair while rinsing out the product. You really want to make sure, especially with um, a deep conditioner, to ensure that you rinse out all of the product from your hair. 
Now you guys, I'll be honest, typically when I'm doing my hair in the shower, I like to go ahead and apply my leave-in conditioner and my hair oil while my hair is saturated. Being low porosity, my hair will literally just, the products will just sometimes sit on my hair unless it's properly wet. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put this towel around my hair and then I'm gonna jump out the shower. Um, so yeah. couple of hair clips here in front of me is that all of them let me show you <laughs> what low porosity hair does I got out of the shower less than 10 minutes ago and look at it it soaks up it, it, it can't really soak up moisture like that the water it's already looking puffy looking um I put this down and so yeah I literally just got out so we're gonna go ahead and start to moisturize my hair. I have two different moisturizers. I have Cantu um, leave-in conditioner. This is an oldie but goodie. And so you guys can see that, okay? And I also have Curls Cream Brulee. Now I play on layering these products and I have my hair oil, I have some water. I'm gonna go ahead and, it's not dry, but it needs to be a lot wetter than this too. Girl, I'm serving you Frederick Douglass. <laughs> I have a natural deep part, and that's how I'm gonna do my hair, because this is how I style my hair. It's crooked, you can't see it, but if you all up in my hair like that, you way too close. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and, again, working with my hair in sections just to make it easier, okay? All right. Yeah, we're gonna use the cream relay. That's what I'm gonna use for that big section. Because it's wet. Girl, you know you need more than that. Stop playing. And I'm gonna go in with some hair oil. When I mean I'm a, nat a lazy natural, I'm literally I'm going to go back and put my hair in medium twists, use these hair clips to clip it up, and yeah. All right, you guys, I am done. My hair is properly moisturized. It feels great. Um, now, how often do I wash my hair? I wash my hair now on a weekly basis. Um, I also moisturize my hair about twice a week, two to three times a week. And so I just make sure that, I wanna make sure that my scalp is clean, okay? That is very important. And that my hair is properly moisturized and that my hair is, let me back up, my scalp and my hair is clean, okay? One thing I do need to get better about is having my ends trimmed, which I'm trying to persuade my auntie to trim my ends, but she's she's a little intimidated by the amount of hair I have. <laughs> get it together, I'm Gladys. Anyway, you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you as always to all of my subscribers. Take care. Bye.